Good afternoon and welcome to the Now Detroit. We begin with a suspect under arrest for deadly crime spree that spanned three cities. Yeah, a man was shot and killed at a business in Taylor. Then police say the suspect stole a semi truck, drove it to Pontiac and shot and killed another man. He was finally stopped in Waterford Township. The Now Zanu Prakash takes us through this terrifying chain of events live from Taylor. Anu, what have you learned? Well, Carolyn, a planned killing spree is what police are calling this. It all started here around 10 o'clock this morning in Taylor at BSD Line Hall, where the 45 year old suspect used to work. They say he walked in with an AK 47, started shooting multiple times, killing a man. Police say he then went into the parking lot and at gunpoint forced a man out of his semi, got in it, and then drove to Aluminum Blanking Company in Pontiac. Investigators say once he was there through an open window, he shot 58 year old. Eriberto Perez in the back multiple times, killing him. From there, police say he went to a shore trucking in Waterford Township where he was looking for someone else but didn't find them, so he leaves. That's when police spot him on the road. They say the suspect then jumped out of the truck, started shooting at them, got back in, and then drove away. He crashed into a car, injuring two women, and then has a shootout with police. That's where this all came to an end. Police say he had multiple magazines for that AK-47 in that truck maybe six or eight 30 round magazines unless you're planning something more extensive or maybe he planned to shoot it out at the end with police which obviously he had no fear about doing because he stopped and engaged more than once. So far, police haven't released the name of the victim here in Taylor. As for the suspect, we're told he was injured in that exchange with police. He's in the hospital now. Again, investigators say he used to work at this Taylor business, but for some reason had been let go. It's not clear when he was fired. At this point, investigators are still trying to figure out what connection he may have had to those other two businesses in Pontiac and Waterford. In Taylor tonight, a new Prakash for the Now Detroit. Right. Back to you. I knew you mentioned he was let go from there, but are we aware of any problems? With, with him at this Taylor business before today? Yeah, I asked the chief that, and he said back in November of 2017 that this suspect came in armed with a handgun, a gun of some kind. He threatened some people. We're told that no shots were fired, but he was facing some charges in that case. Again, we don't know exactly when he was let go from this business or what prompted him specifically to come to this business or the other two. Wow. And you'll stay on top of it for us. Anu Prakash, thanks so much for the live report. Carolyn. All right.